People say that if you take the Huawei Mate 10 and the Huawei Mate 10 Pro and add a little bit of honor to it, you will get the Honor View 10. This is actually quite an accurate description of a device, but why the Honor View 10 might be even a better alternative to the Huawei Mate 10, I will show you here. On the front, we have a 5.99 inch IPS display in the 18x9 format with a full HD resolution. Colors are nice and quite accurate and everything looks sharp. Compared to the Huawei Mate 10, you have a lower resolution, which is actually not that bad and you have no OLED compared to the Pro version. Above the display is the front speaker, which doesn't support stereo sound unfortunately, a light and proximity sensor and the 13 megapixel front camera. It also supports a portrait mode and selfies seem to look good and not too washed out. Also on the front is the super fast fingerprint sensor, which this time supports even more gestures like tapping on it, pressing it like force touch, though it doesn't feel as satisfying as force touch and more. Still, I'm personally a bit disappointed by the fact that it is on the front, because especially now it doesn't make sense since we finally got a face unlock feature as the front option. During the presentation, it didn't work that well though, but the same happened to Apple and others too. I need to test it out later. On the top is the microphone for noise cancelling and an IR blaster to control TVs and other devices. On the right is the power button and volume buttons. On the left is the dual SIM slot with a micro SD card slot which is something we don't have with the Mate 10 Pro for some reason. And on the bottom, the microphone, the mono speaker, the USB-C 2.0 slot, where the Mate 10 series has USB 3.1 and supports PC mode if you plug it into a monitor. Also, we have an audio jack, which is again a thing that we don't have on the Mate 10 Pro. The back is made of an aluminum alloy and looks similar to the Honor 8 Pro. There, we have a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor and a 16 megapixel RGB sensor, which is different from the Mate 10 Pro. The aperture is also also lower with f1.8 and what is very sad is that there is no optical image stabilization. In the review I'll try to find out if the electronic solution got better at least. Anyway, pictures seem to look pretty good and I expect it to be a good camera for pictures at least. We'll see in the full review. Inside we have Huawei's most recent Kirin 970 CPU which also comes with the NPU, the Neural Processing Unit. While I criticize the lack of functionality of the artificial intelligence on the Mate 10 Pro, Honor brings new features to it. With smart face recognition and face unlock, more camera features, you can now also voice control a DJI drone and more. But downside is that these will come later with an update. Besides that, we have here 6GB of RAM which is more than enough and 128GB of internal storage which is extendable. The V10 also now supports Huawei's supercharge technology which charges the phone to 50% after only 30 minutes. The battery capacity is 3750mAh. As for the system, runs MY8 based on Android 8 which is like a mix of Android and iOS. The V10 will ship in January in the colors black and blue and unfortunately no red version and will cost 499 or your regional equivalent. With this price, it is a strong contender against the similar Mate 10 devices being significantly cheaper and it could even be the better alternative. Obviously, they try to tackle the OnePlus 5T with the price too. What do you think about the Honor V10? Tell me in the comment section. If you like this video, I'd be happy if you'd give us a like, otherwise the dislike button is right next to it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the full review. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Umit for Mobile Geeks.